Welcome to a lesson on the limits of composite functions using graphs. Let's begin by considering the limit as x approaches 2 of f of g of x, where we have the graph of f of x on the left and the graph of g of x on the right. We begin by determining the limit as x approaches 2 of the inner function g of x. Looking at the graph of g of x, we're approaching x equals 2, this vertical line from the left and the right. As we approach x equals 2 from the left, we're approaching from this direction. As we approach from the right, we're approaching this direction. Notice in both cases, we're approaching the y value or function value of positive 3. And since the outputs of g of x become the inputs for f of x, we can write the limit as x approaches 2 of f of g of x as the limit as x approaches 3 of the outer function f of x. And since f of x is continuous, we can simply determine f of 3. But before we do this, let's go back and look at the graph of g of x again. Notice as we approach the y value of positive 3, we're approaching from below or from y values that are less than 3. This indicates we could also write this limit as x approaches 3 as a one-sided limit, as the limit as x approaches 3 from the left side or negative side of f of x. It's going to give us the same limit, but this idea is going to be important when the outer function, in this case f of x, has discontinuity. Let's go ahead and find this limit graphically. Looking at the graph of f of x, we're approaching 3 from the left or from both sides if we want. Notice as we approach from the left, we're approaching the y value of negative 4, and we're also approaching the y value of function value of negative 4 from the right. So we know our limit, whether we have a general limit or a one-sided limit, is equal to negative 4, which indicates the limit as x approaches 2 of f of g of x equals negative 4. And now let's look at the second example. We have the limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of f of x. We begin by determining the limit as x approaches negative 1 of the inner function, which in this case is f of x. So we're approaching x equals negative 1, this vertical line here, from the left and the right. Notice as we approach from the left and the right, we're approaching the y value or function value of positive 2. In this case, from above and below, and therefore the limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of f of x equals the limit as x approaches 2 of the outer function g of x. In this case, we cannot write this limit as a one set of limit because we are approaching the y value of 2 from above and below. Analyzing the graph of g of x, we're approaching x equals 2, this vertical line here, from the left and the right. As we approach from the left, and as we approach from the right, we're approaching the same y value or function value of positive 3, which means the limit as x approaches negative 1 of g of f of x, which is equal to the limit as x approaches 2 of g of x equals 3. Let's look at two more examples. Again, we have f of x on the left and g of x on the right. We begin with the limit as x approaches 1 of f of g of x. This indicates we first find the limit as x approaches 1 of the inner function g of x. Here's x equals 1 for g of x. As we approach from the left and from the right, we are approaching the y value or function value of positive 2. Since f of x is discontinuous at x equals 2, here it's important to notice we are approaching from below or from y values that are less than 2 which means the limit as x approaches 1 of f of g of x equals the limit as x approaches 2 from values less than 2 or from the negative side of the outer function f of x. And now we find the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of f of x, analyzing the graph of f of x. We're approaching x equals 2, which is here, but now we're only approaching from the negative side or left side which is from this direction here, and we're approaching the y value or function value of 4, which gives us our limit. The limit as x approaches 1 of f of g of x equals 4. And for our last example, we have the limit as x approaches negative 3 of f of g of x. So we're first approaching negative 3, which is here on the graph of g of x, and we're approaching from the left and the right. Notice we're approaching the y value or function value of negative 2, but in this case we're approaching from above or from values more than negative 2. 
which indicates the limit as x approaches negative three of f of g of x equals the limit as x approaches negative two from the positive side or right side of the outer function f of x. And now we analyze f of x again, approaching x equals negative two, which is here. And we're approaching from the positive side or right side, which indicates we're approaching from this direction here. And notice we're approaching the y value or function value of negative four. We now know the limit as x approaches negative three of f of g of x equals negative four. I think we'll go ahead and stop here for this lesson. We'll look at some more examples in the next video. Thank you for watching.